Welcome to our weekly midweek devotion from the United Methodist Church in Littleton, Illinois. We're glad that you came, especially since the weather was so cold that we had to call off church on Sunday. So we have to touch base with you a little bit here. I know uh, about half of you, I don't know, I haven't done any surveys, but I think about a half of you log on every week for the devotion, and about half of you log on every week for the nature clip and to see where I'm at at this particular week and, and what I'm doing. Well, what I'm, where I'm at is right here in Rushville, and what I'm doing is as little as possible because it is cold outside. You, those of you that are here in the Midwest, we're being hit with an Arctic blast. It's been about 11 below each morning when I get up for the last couple of mornings, and, um, and the wind chill's been like 34 below. No way I'm going to put on all my little warm clothes and run out there and take a picture of, uh, of a pile of snow <laughs> and call that a nature clip. So it'll be a little shorter today. We just got this. Even as I'm saying that we've just got this, the devotion part today, I'm also going to put a little disclaimer on it. It isn't anything new. It isn't anything I haven't said before. It's just something that I feel that I ought to say from time to time. So this may not take as long as usual today, but I hope it is, uh, is valuable. As we enter... 2024. Do you have a nervous feel? I mean, we have just come out of 2020 and 2021 and 2022 and 2023, and it hasn't gone so well. COVID's still not totally gone, and RSV is there, and there's just sort of a kind of a funny feel about it all. Or how about the world politics? We have, it looks like, on one side, Russia and North Korea and China and um, Iran and some of the Islamic terrorist groups, extremists. And we have on the other side, we have NATO and the United States and Israel and Taiwan. And, and it almost looks like we're choosing up sides for a, a third world war. And it seems like walking on eggshells every place we go as a nation. Or how about the politics? Wow, we're, we're, in a, uh, we're in a presidential race right now. And it seems, to, I could be wrong. Again, anything I say is just there to start discussion. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I know what I'm talking about. But it seems to me that both the fairly far right and the far left politically each believe that our democracy is at stake, believe it sincerely, and believe that our democracy will fail and our nation will implode if the other person's candidate makes it. That is, the, uh, the far right think that if the Democrats get in power this year, that democracy's out the window. The uh, far left thinks that, um, that if Trump gets in this year, democracy's out the window. They, they don't, they're not quiet about it. And, and they both sides sincerely believe it. And perhaps one of the sides or both sides have some truth to what they're saying. But does it give you a, a scary feeling? I wonder... If it ever feels to you like we as a culture are dancing on the edge of a knife blade. Sharp knife. Unfortunately, I don't think our churches are being of much help right now. A lot of our churches um, don't seem to be able to handle themselves. And they're divided. And they're divided some toward the left and some toward the right. And, 
And it seems like the churches are as involved in politics as the politicians are. And I don't know that's making a lot of difference because fewer and fewer people seem to be coming to church. And words that at one time were respected, such as evangelical, are now often spoken of with derision. So it sort of looks like at the same time that our nation and that our culture is in decline and we have mountains of things stacked up around us and we're dancing on the edge of a knife blade, as I I said a moment ago, that at that time in history, our reliance on the Lord has been declining. And I don't know the science has the answer to things like we're talking about right now. I may not be as worried as I should be. Psalm 33 reminds us that no king is saved by the size of his army. That our shield is the Lord. I don't know how it would turn out. I don't know if it would turn out for the better or for the worse. I don't know if there would be really hard times ahead or victory marches. I don't know if there will be an awakening or if the church will continue to decline and have infighting. What I know is, and this is what I remind myself and those in my church from time to time, that Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Whatever frightening day today is, God has the future in his hands. And whatever struggles his church is going through, there'll be a day when he comes back for his church and it will be ready and waiting for him. In the meantime, we need to walk by faith with sobriety with hope in a future that God has promised and not look at all the storm clouds all over the horizons. I mean, we can notice them. We can be aware of them. We can, you know, understand the gravity. But we also understand that there is a God that is greater than the situation. This, by the way, is also true in our individual lives. The biggest danger we face is trying to go into the problems of tomorrow without the God of ages. America's biggest danger would be trying to face all of this without God. Well, the week's about over again or half over again. We'll soon be back together to worship our Lord on Sunday if it's not 11 below zero like last Sunday. So between now and then, whatever you are going through, whatever our nation is going through, whatever our culture is going through, whatever the year 2024 holds, most important to me, we hold on to God. And may God bless you in this coming year. And may his faith shine in you this coming week.